Hi guys, this is Mike here. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you guys um, how we manage our money and categories. Um, a few of our friends have asked um, how we uh, manage our contributions, like when you save for future events like birthdays, um, saving for a vacation and stuff like that. They want to know what system we use and uh, ours is kind of like a variation of the envelope system. Um, only there are no actual envelopes involved. So, um, yeah, stick around. I'll show you how this works. Um, to start, I'm going to tell you what bank accounts we use. So, um, of course, we have check-ins account that all our spending, you know, groceries, um, bills, everything comes out of a check-in account. We try to keep couple of accounts um, so it's simple and uh, you don't have to uh, deal with several accounts so we have a checking account um, and we also have an e-savings account um, the purpose of the e-savings account is to serve as your envelope in the envelope system you know so um, all these accounts uh, below the checking account so from Christmas 2017, home improvement, and so on. All these accounts, all this money actually um, are kept in the e savings account. And the reason is because uh, you can't accidentally spend from the e savings account by swiping with your debit card. So um, your money stays in the e savings account, and when you need it, you have to transfer it over to your check ins, and that's how it works with our bank. So, anyways. And that serves as well because you can mistakenly spend from, you know, your, uh, your contribution account. So anyways, um, we got the checking account and we got the e-savings account. Um, and every month, um, we make contributions from our checking account towards all our categories that we're saving for. So, um, for example, um, I'm going to make a few examples that show you how it works. So, um, I'm going to contribute $30 towards Christmas 2017. So here we just call it February contribution. Uh, so we'll go in there, February contribution, February contribution. We want to transfer $30 from check-ins. So that will be transfer from check-ins into um, Christmas 2017. So we'll do $30. Now watch what happens when I click save. So that $30 gets taken from the check-ins and gets put towards Christmas 2017. So this will be $30 less. This will be $30 more. Um, it's kind of the same principle as taking $30 cash and putting it in an envelope for Christmas 2017. So I'm going to click save and that happens. Okay. And you can do that for every category. And that's how we put our money in a pretend envelope, which is the e-savings account. Yeah. So for example, I'm going to give you a scenario of, you know, how we use this at like an envelope. So for example, say today we want to buy blinds for a house. So that will go on the home improvement and the blinds $50. So the first thing we do is before we go out and go buy blinds, we're going to look first of all, do we have $50 in our home improvement account? If we do, then we'll go buy the blinds. If we don't have $50 here. Well, too bad. We're going to have to wait till next month because it's not an emergency, right? Um, that kind of helps you, you know, simulate the envelope system. Just one last thing. Uh, I know most of you guys are wondering if these are actually connected to our bank accounts. Um, in our case, uh, we did not put a password into Quicken. It's just a security thing for us. Um, so these are just for tracking purposes only. They're just placeholders just to help us know how much is in which 
category, you know, how much we have in Thanksgiving and so on and so forth. So these are just place orders. Uh, these are not actually connected to a bank account. Um, yeah. Um, the one big reason is that if uh, there was ever a breach, or uh, you know, in your bank account and someone, you know, uh, takes your money, um, banks, uh, you know, don't cooperate if they find out that you actually gave your password, your confidential information out to um, to a third party application. So uh, we're just being on the safe side and um, yeah, we just do everything manually, which means that all our transactions from our check-ins won't get downloaded automatically, right? We have to manually input it. Um, it's got its pros and cons. Um, we actually like doing it manually just because it kind of gives us a nudge, right? You know, when you enter everything one at a time, you kind of like register how much you're spending and you kind of check yourself before you spend too much, right? But, you know, we found out when uh, the the application downloads your transactions for you automatically, you don't pay a lot of attention, you know? It, it doesn't work well for us. So uh those are the two reasons why we didn't put a bank account information into quicken um it's just a personal preference then you know it's a security thing for us okay so i hope this kind of makes sense so i'm just going to recap here so um we have a checking account that holds, you know, all our daily transactions, groceries, gas, and all that fun stuff. And then we have an e-savings account, which you can't really see here, but all these categories get put into e-savings account. And the good thing about the e-savings account is you can put your money in there. Um, it actually gets interest every month, which is nothing actually just a few dollars here and there but anyways the good thing is that you can't accidentally spend from your e-savings you actually have to uh transfer money electronically from your e-savings to your check-ins when you do need it and you know that kind of helps you, you know in our case it kind of you know stops the impulse buys you know what i mean so um that's the system that we use. Thanks for watching.